Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar from the UKV, have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days as it is continuing to look very dry and very warm especially in the west. Eastern areas could be slightly cooler with a bit of an easterly flow developing over the coming days but it should still be fairly pleasant with temperatures around average or above average. As we head into the longer term, it's looking likely that this pattern will continue, as we've said, for a number of days now. High pressure, uh, and especially warm high pressure over the next week or so, is going to dominate temperatures widely in the high teens and low 20s, pushing maybe the mid-20s, said in western areas over the coming days. Best places to be, really, southwest England, Wales, Republic of Ireland, Northern Ireland, and Western Scotland. Best places to be for those temperatures and for sunshine over the coming days and the coming weeks most likely as this easterly flow under the high pressure will give us a bit of a hit to the temperatures in the east and perhaps some thicker cloud as well. So I said we'll look at the UKV and then we'll run for the long range charts to see what the next few weeks do have in store as we do head into the start of June. So to remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. So do start on the live radar, another day, another clear precipitation radar. Um, very little precipitation anywhere near us, really. Closest precipitation is down towards Europe. You can see a bit of a mistake on the radar there. We've not got these tiny isolated thunderstorms developing, but we've got a big area of thundery rain down towards Southeast Europe and Southern Europe in general. A few patches of rain up towards uh, Scandinavia, but elsewhere, nothing at all in Northern and Western Europe, continuing to look really nice. Now the temperatures, uh, as, as I said, in the past few days would be a little bit on the down today because we've got that easterly flow, slightly cooler conditions are pushing in. But you can see you still in those western regions, southwest England, Wales, northwest England, parts of Scotland, Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland are the warmest areas today, perhaps touching 20 to 22 degrees. Further eastwards and generally most areas more around the 18 to 20 degree mark and down the far east coast, sort of you know, 10, 20 miles in land, um, temperatures struggling around the mid-teens, but that's pretty typical this time of year when we do see an easterly flow. The North Sea sea surface temperatures are still pretty cold, low teens at best, um, and that will mean that any air getting dragged in off the east or northeast will have quite a chill to it at the surface. The upper air temperatures are warm, very warm in fact, conducive perhaps of 25 degrees or so for the coming days, but it's because of the surface uh, wind flow coming in off the North Sea, the sea breeze is going to hold those temperatures down. You can see the very hot air across parts of France, you know, them getting easily winds got long fetched across continental Europe and that's why even though it's a very similar pattern, very similar air mass, these areas are reaching mid to high 20s, maybe even 30 degrees. It is possible over the coming days to see 25 degrees plus in the west, it's probably quite likely actually, uh, but the east areas said we will be held back a little bit. If you look at the UKV now, have a look at the precipitation and temperature over the next five days, once again, run through the precipitation and you'll see really, it's only cloud we've got to mess with over the coming days, as rainfall looks highly unlikely once again. As we head through today, most areas are very sunny, bits of cloud here and there, but nothing too crazy. As we head into Tuesday, another very sunny day, again, a little bit more cloud down eastern coastal areas. Uh, so not only is it going to be a little bit chilly there, a bit more cloud and that also sort of culminates in those cooler temperatures. As we head into Wednesday, some thicker cloud, especially early on, but generally clears apart from the far east coastal areas. And that's the same to Thursday, where again, it's stunning and a bit of cloud, maybe a little bit of drizzly rain coming in for the far east. And the same into Friday as well, where things continue to look really nice and really warm with this continual high pressure domination with a slight easterly flow. If you look at the 850 HP temperatures, you can see by the end of the week, they're all around the sort of the 8 to 11 degree mark, and that's conducive of temperatures, as I said, into the low to mid-20s when you add on that 15 degree uh, shift that we do have normally this time of year. So you can see the Far East is in a very warm air mass, but those temperatures won't quite reciprocate that because of that easterly flow, unfortunately. But if you do look at the max temperatures, you'll see it's still fairly pleasant in most areas over the coming days. Today, widely around the high teens or low 20s further westwards, but in the eastern areas, more towards the mid-teens, only 12 or 13 right along the coast. But most areas, high teens, if not touching 20 degrees. 
into tomorrow, temperatures will start to rise slightly higher. High teens, 20 degrees quite widely, touching 22 to maybe 24 to parts of Scotland, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Wales and South West England. It'll be the same as we head into Wednesday, touching perhaps even slightly warmer, more 22s and 23s, and again, I say 24s or 25s are possible, again, in western regions. For central and eastern regions of England and Scotland, again, mid high teens most likely, but even possibly low teens in some spots for the last day of May. It's the first day of summer, we do see temperatures even warmer in western regions, and even for central regions, regions are warming up a bit. So that's a combination probably of the air mass warming up and the easterly flow getting cut off a little bit. But again, southwest England, Wales, western Scotland, northern Ireland Repub uh, and the Republic of Ireland, widely 20 to 23 degrees, probably tiptoeing to 24 or even 25 in a few spots. And that'll be the same as we head into Friday once again. Widely 20 to 23 degrees in western regions, especially Republic of Ireland looks stunning here, if not topping 24 or 25 degrees. And once again, eastern areas with a bit of cloud um, and slightly cooler uh, easterly flow is going to hold those temperatures down, maybe only 14 to 16 degrees in some regions. Again, it's a good few days away, so things can change, the wind direction can subtly change come Friday. But at the moment, it's still looking fairly nice, fairly pleasant, no rainfall but those temperatures perhaps dipping a little bit further eastwards. So do now have a look at the longer range, we'll be able to see why this does evolve with the pressure pattern. So you can see the high pressure is firmly in control. And as we get towards the end of this week, you can see the ice bars are tracing around the high pressure from Scandinavia through the North Sea. And that means the air mass has said runs over those cold sea surface temperatures and does give us um, those colder surface temperatures there, unfortunately. We can actually have a look at the observed sea surface temperatures um, right now, uh, and you can see for the UK, uh, if we actually have a look towards Scandinavia, you can see here just in the bottom left of the picture here, it's the North Sea, and for most of the North Sea, as I said, it's those low teens, 10 to maybe 12 and a half degrees, and that's what's cooling those temperatures down along the eastern coastal areas. Again, if we do have a southerly wind, you can see it still goes over cold air, but the sea track is much shorter. And it means that we get air from the uh, near continents. Even if a southwesterly wind came in, most of this air, uh, most of the sea surface temperatures are around 15 degrees or higher. And again, that moderates the air less. So this is the main reason why it is cool, and we'll have to take that into account over the coming days and the coming weeks. Hopefully, over the next few weeks, uh, it will start to warm quite rapidly, uh, of course, reaching the peak around September, October time. But if we do progress beyond that, you can see the easty flow continues, so it will continue to keep it relatively cool. Um, and, you know, we just keep that easterly flow and even a bit of lighter colours appearing there, so perhaps slightly lower pressure, a bit of an upper trough potentially could form some showers. But generally, we're still under high pressure all the way to the end of the run. Perhaps low pressure coming in off the Atlantic could produce a bit of thundery weather, but still looking very warm and very dry, perhaps slightly cooler air there at times during the middle of this run. If you now have a look at the GM, see how that does compare, high pressure continues to dominate over the coming days. Again, that easterly flow, keeping those condition, uh, colder conditions, or cooler conditions, let's just say, in the east, and continue to dominate. Uh, although today, 10 with the high pressure, hardly moving, and just keeping that wind coming in from the east. You can see the air masses are warm. Temperature deviation is well above average, and the 2 meter to surface temperatures are widely high teens into the low 20s, best in the west, 23, 24, across parts of the Republic of Ireland, always slightly cooler further eastwards and again all due to that wind direction coming in from the north sea along those cooler sea surface temperatures if you look at the ecwf uh, again high pressure continuing to dominate over the coming days hardly moving with that easterly flow right towards day 10 high pressure starts to lose its grip a little bit but still we're firmly under it under generally warm air and again not seeing too much with this Again, look at the accumulated precipitation, hardly a rain dot in, uh, in, in, uh, in for, many, for most of the UK, that is. A little bit of green showing traces of rain. But in the West, where we're seeing low 20s, mid 20s uh, continuing over the coming days and coming weeks, 
So the eastern WFA has zero rainfall for parts of Wales, Republic of Ireland, and some parts of Northern Ireland as well, and traces for most other regions. So we really are in a very dry pocket uh, for our part of the planet at the moment, or looking likely uh, over the coming weeks. If we do finish by looking at the ensembles, these latest GFS, we can see generally average or above average over the next week to 10 days. Looking very warm and very dry. However, beyond that, as we enter around the 6th, 8th, we do trend a little bit more towards average, so slightly cooler air. Again, this is for London, so further eastwards, uh, we're always going to be affected by those cooler uh, air masses in from the east in London. Um, so turning slightly cooler here. Precipitation does pick up a little bit, but again, nothing substantial, cool, nothing really to write home about. No major change, but slightly cooler uh, upper air temperatures in the longer term. Again, nothing really that would uh, dampen the temperature too much. Uh, it just would stop it getting much above sort of the low 20s, really, in the east. Again, the TV's temperatures look pretty decent over the coming weeks, widely around the high teens um, or low 20s point, even actually peaking slightly higher in the longer term, seeing the GFS operational on there getting towards the Mid 20s again, the upper air temperatures there are not exceptional, but it's because it's later in the year, it's a good, a good two weeks' time. Sun strength warmer, air mass strengthening, and the sea surface temperatures are warming up too. So, all of that sort of culminating uh, with even if this pattern didn't really change, those temperatures would still rise over the coming days and the coming weeks. If we finish by looking at the ECMWF average or above average in the next week or so, but actually remaining all the way into the middle of June. Slight dip in the longer term, but that's some colder ensemble members, a bit of outliers there. Majority of runs are above average around that 8 to 10 degree mark at 850 HPA for the next week to 10 days or even longer. Very warm and very dry conditions prevailing. We also do have... A little bit more precipitation in the longer term, but once again, with 50 on solar members, it's not that significant and really doesn't even pick up until around the 10th of June in almost two weeks' time. So it's starting to sound like a broken record here, but it's warm and dry for the last few days, the last week or two really, and it will continue to be like that. Likely for the next week, if not the next two weeks, as we do head into June. And of course, temperatures could start to climb even more as we do increase the sun strength as we head into the peak of summer and general air masses do warm up as of course we head towards more of peak summer so yeah it's looking likely just to be a great uh, sort of great weather over the coming weeks so make sure you do go out and enjoy it don't know what's in store for the rest of summer it could be absolutely abysmal it could be complete washout and this could be the best period so make sure you do savor it and enjoy it over the next couple of weeks so anyway, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you again for another video soon.